A huge mistake that many MCs make is to use a speaker's bio as their introduction. You know, I'm still amazed at the number of speakers, even professional speakers who should know better, don't provide a written introduction at each and every presentation they do. It's such a wasted opportunity. You see, a good introduction really sets up the speaker's session. It frames what the audience will learn and establishes the, their own credibility. And it also allows the speaker to get straight into the meat of the presentation. So it's often up to us as the MCs to craft an introduction. And often we have to do it quickly on the spot. So here are two different approaches. Now the first concept was taught to me by two legends of the Australian speaking business, Mr. Ron Tacky and Winston Marsh. Now, they both had slightly different wordings and a slightly different order, but essentially it was the same framework. In your brief introduction, you should cover these four points. One, why the subject? Two, why the speaker? Three, why this audience? And four, why now? If you can cover or address each of those points, it creates a really nice flow to the introduction. So let's look at each in turn. Why the subject? This is the big picture overview and it emphasizes why it's important. Why the speaker? This is where you position the speaker as qualified to speak on the topic and give a little bit about their past experience, their current role, their qualifications, etc. Why this audience? Now this is the key. This is creating a connection between the audience and the topic. This should make them sit up and pay attention, and especially when you mention some of the benefits that they will get, what they will learn from the presentation. And why now? You end the sequence with a, some excitement or a sense of urgency. And of course, you finish with their title and their name and lead the applause. Their name should be the last thing that you say. So jot that framework down in either your resource book or in your MC folio, and you will always be ready to craft a snappy, tight, interesting introduction. You can take a long, boring bio and craft something. Now, if you've got a few days, Wonderful, but importantly, you can use that framework if you've only got a few minutes to pull out a key fact or two to fit into the framework. Now, as I mentioned, you can change the order. Uh, Winston and Ron both changed the order a few times when I saw them working. Now, my pro tip, keep it short and keep it tight. 90 seconds to two minutes is more than enough time to introduce any speaker. And remember, it's not about you. It's about the topic. It's about the event. It's about the speaker. And it's about the audience. Remember that. Now, the second introduction framework requires that you have a little chat to your speaker before you bring them on. This can be either just before the event or perhaps in the week leading up to it. And you need to find out either an anecdote or a fact about the speaker that you can use. I'll give you an example in a moment. But you introduce this into the same framework that I just went through. And it adds a slightly more personal touch or element into the introduction. I believe this is taught in the Toastmaster training. It gives a more personal touch and it really helps create a connection between the audience and that speaker. You obviously use it in part two, where you are talking about the speaker. Some examples, you could find out what sports team they support, where they grew up, what was their nickname at school, or what hobbies they pursue. Now, if you're introducing a few speakers during the day, you can use this as a running gag. You use the same thing for each of those speakers, and the audience will start waiting for it and listening for it. And it kind of ties the whole thing together, just as you should be doing as an expert MC. Hey, thanks for watching. My name's Timothy Hyde from expertmc.com, the channel dedicated to helping you become better on stage. Now, if you've had any value out of this video, please consider hitting the like button. It encourages us to make more or even subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out 
on future episodes. We publish every second week. Now, there's a heap of extra resources in the description below, uh, including a free download. Or if you want to, why don't you watch one of these popular videos coming up right now.